Benny. What's wrong? Oh, I'm just a little woozy, Kevin. What are you woozy from, Benny? Well, I've been signing contracts in blood all day. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Blood? That's nothing. I had to sell my soul to be famous. Oh! Thank you very much, Jay-Z. You're welcome! <clears throat> this year's nominees for the Illuminati Puppet of the Year are... Lil Wayne for Love Me, a song about how much traumatized women trapped in cages love Lil Wayne, featuring butterflies, Satan, and a bathtub full of blood. Azealia Banks for Young Rapunzel, the story of a person with little to no control over their own mind, bending over backward to a police state and surrounded by owls, eyes, and some all-around weirdness. Miley Cyrus for everything she did in 2013. Whether she was twerking, tongue-wagging, or panty-dropping, this former Disney poster girl turned innocence and wholesomeness into sleaze and trash faster than you could say Hannah Montana. Katy Perry for Prism, an album targeted at children that conveniently shares its name with another breakout star from 2013, the NSA's Prism Surveillance Program. And last but not least, perennial nominee Lady Gaga for Lady Gaga and the Muppets Holiday Spectacular. 3.6 million viewers tuned in to watch this Illuminati favorite flash the one eye sign to Kermit and the gang. Being vacuous, soulless, and shallow never looks so good or endearing. Boy, Gaga sure is Gaga over that all seeing eye. <laughs> We'd like to thank the five corporations that own and produce every single media outlet. Um, AOL Time Warner, uh, Viacom, uh, Disney, um, Universal, uh, Sony. Sony. Without you, none of this would exist. Thank you. Good night. That was one of the latest videos from Joy Camp, a parody of the propaganda pageant known as the Grammys. And to tell us more about this, we have the creators of Joy Camp, Benny Wills and Kevin Kostelnik. They join us now via Skype. Benny, Kevin, thanks for joining us, guys. Well, thanks for having us. Thank you. So we saw your most recent video and also some of the other things you did with InfoWars. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. But the most recent video you did about the Grammys, and I was very surprised when I saw, you know, pretty much how accurate you guys were with Beyonce. You know, she's taking off her bra and tossing it in your video, but in real life, she didn't quite go that far, but she's running around the stage in some booty shorts, and it wasn't too far-fetched from what you guys predicted would happen. Uh, well, it's all spectacle, man. I'm not surprised at all. Yeah. Yeah, so it was, uh, it, it's... You know, one of the things that you really don't want your kids to watch anymore, and not just that, but many other performances, performances in the past. And, you know, maybe you guys were like me and you didn't waste your time actually watching the Grammys. But just to see these things happen, it's, it's very unsettling. Yeah, it is. And it's it's just absurd. I mean, that's, I guess, where our, our, the, the idea for the video came from. I mean, this stuff is really just ridiculous. I mean, the music industry in particular is is just obnoxious with their symbolism, with their their uh their escapades yeah we're we're both uh, really big music lovers and there's so much good music out there like so much good music that just doesn't get noticed by anyone and then you watch something like the grammys which i i didn't watch and i, I haven't i watched enough grammy footage from making this video to last me a lifetime i got <laughs> really sick of 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 the video footage that i was watching so um i didn't see any of the new stuff but the music the, the these people when they win these awards for the music that they make, it's just, I don't know how anybody can listen to it, really. Yeah, just real horrible stuff, and you guys pointed that out in your video, talking about the music of Miley Cyrus, and not only that, but Lil Wayne, Beyonce, others. But on Lil Wayne, uh, the video you guys portrayed is a very disturbing video for no other reason than just its, a, it's content, regardless of any uh, Illuminati or other things that are going on. It's a, just a straight-up disturbing video. Right, and oh, yeah. and that's directed to kids. I mean, these this pop music. Let's face it, is basically for teenagers. This is what they're being subjected to, and they don't realize necessarily what they're watching. So, why are they putting it in their videos? Why is there a bathtub full of blood? There's absolutely no reason for it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the uh, uh, Zelia Banks video. When we both watched that for the first time a couple of weeks ago, our, it just blew my mind. It's the music business or the music industry is so in your face with the symbolism 
And like he said, it's targeted at young kids, so they grow up like idolizing these people who couldn't be further from a, a real person that you should idolize at all. You know, it's oh, just and, insane. And that video in particular is scary because I think it has a double message. First, they show Azealia Banks trying to fight this police state that is coming in on her. So they, they're with their, you know, they got a SWAT team with their shields. They're coming at her, and she's trying to fight them. And she can't. She, like, breaks a bottle over their shield. And the next thing you know, she's bending over backward to the police state. So I get from that that the police state is coming and it's useless to fight them because you have you are powerless against it. That's what I got from that. That's a very that's a very good observation. And not just in the music. We see it in the movies and many different things. Just bow down to the police state. Drones are good. You know, the police state will save you. See this in all number of movies and just entertainment in general. Why do you guys think that is you guys have a a finger on the pulse in the entertainment community. Why do you think that is? Uh, I think, man, because they're, they're, it's like, um, how, would I, how would I describe it? They're letting you know that it's there. So they're saying, right. this is coming. This is, this, is, this is here to stay. And we want you to get pissed off about it. We want you to get mad that it's here so that you'll try to fight it, but then they'll just squash you right away. I mean, that's, the, that's, what, it, that's, what, I, that's what I'm getting from it. It's they're, such a, oh, sorry. They're not trying to hide it from the public anymore. They're saying, here it is. And if you don't like it, yeah, fight it. We'll just squash you anyway. That's what I get from it. Yeah, and it's also Hollywood. I mean, you know, we we live out here, and it really is like a gigantic arm of the system. It's one of the most powerful arms, I think, of the system. And so with the movies and the music business um, are just really powerful driving forces for them to steer people in all the wrong directions. So when when we plan, plan ourselves in videos like this, we hope to, like, make fun of that and expose that and steer people in the right direction yeah and just say that the best defense <clears throat> excuse me the best defense against it is to laugh at it to not so we don't necessarily try to fight it we just say you know what? we're not going to play the game we're right. not going to give into it at all and not only that but we're going to laugh at you for you being a part of the game yeah it's all an illusion i gotta tell you man it felt so good to make fun of some of these people in our video because after watching which one was your favorite to make fun of Oh, um, probably Probably Jay-Z for me. I think Jay-Z, Jay-Z for me too. Yeah, we've been wanting to make fun of Jay-Z in the music industry for a really long time. All this business. And yeah, you know. They're going to screen cap that and say you guys are are Illuminati now. I know, that's exactly what they're going to. I think there's already been a comment. Well, we we take it as a compliment when people think that we're double agents. And especially with (laughs) these videos, the award shows, because what happens is we make these videos uh, obviously aware of um, the timing on them, and we put it out before it comes out. We call it like a leaked clip so that if we get enough traction within our you know alternative media community, it'll result in the video being one of the top searches. So when you get just like average Joe Schmo that goes and searches for the Grammys 2014, our video pops up, you know, on the front page and they'll click on it thinking they're going to see something from the Grammys. And then all of a sudden they get, you know, planted with this little seed of truth. And usually when that happens, we get an influx of views and an influx of, of really negative comments. We didn't get yeah. too many this time. But when we get those, I always see those as a victory because somebody watched it all the way through enough to where it invokes something in them to like write you know, something that just went against their grain of thinking. Exactly, so time, exactly. I'm sorry, guys, we've got to move here quick. Now, okay. uh, I really want to touch on what you guys said about, you know, just being active and being in this fight at some level. Some people think that it's all about sitting in a suit and being on TV or being on the radio like Alex. Just doing a fun parody video like you guys did could really wake up a lot of people. Now, quickly, the Super Bowl is coming up, and we've seen a lot of uh, weird things going on with Madonna, Beyonce, other people as well. Do you guys anticipate anything for this year's Super Bowl? <laughs> uh, there's got to be something. Yeah. I mean, that super, the, the halftime show is because has turned into a, a ri- really ritualistic event. I mean, that thing is scary year after year, scarier every year, actually. Yeah, it's a giant platform for the system. So there will be something, I'm sure. And of course, the distraction that, that sports are and football in specific and, uh, you know, all the, and they, they focus on commercial advertising. Like, how bizarre is that that we like get excited for commercials? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the halftime commercials are one of the biggest things about the Super Bowl. In general. Now, in closing, guys, we've seen uh, you guys participate in our contest here at InfoWars. You recently made the NSA video, excuse me, the TSA video for our contest there. It's a great video. You guys also did some other things in Operation Paul Revere. So, Kevin, guys, you guys do a great job over there. You just keep doing what you're doing. That's what you need to do because that's what we need to do to wake people up. Benny, as well, you guys are all in it. And as well as the other guys in your crew. I know you guys have other people that come in and work on your behalf. All right, Joey Camp, thank you guys for your time. Hey, thanks. Thanks so much, Jagari.
And that's it for this edition of the InfoWars Nightly News. If you'd like to support this broadcast, stop by PrisonPlanet.tv and get yourself a free trial. You can get the Alex Jones Show, the rants, the nightly news, the special reports, and so much more. So that's it for this edition. I'm Jakari Jackson, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Now you can watch the Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show.